Hello and welcome to the Beer Talks. I am the Beard, aka okay, John, and this is the Thursday show. Uh, I'd like to apologise first. There's no, there was no Tuesday show because I was just doing some lates at work and I was just too tired. And I was literally just getting in, having something to eat, and just literally falling straight asleep most of the time. And also I'm not feeling too fantastic either. I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on. But I thought, oh, why not? I'll try and get Thursday show out for you. And here it is. On this show, I'll be mainly talking about Black Ops 2. There's a lot of things going on with Black Ops 2. Uh, aliens, Colonial Marines, uh, developer video coming out, a few more shots for multiplayer. And um, Justice League movie. Yeah, I'll save that to last. Um, first thing for Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer came out. That was, I must admit, looks brilliant, fantastic. Some new kill streaks, some new weapons, some new like red dot sights. Everything. I'll put a link. Every, all links will be down below. You can go and check it out yourselves. But it looks awesome. Nothing. It looks nothing like Black Ops 2. The views have got brand new kill streaks. Well, some of the old ones, but brand new ones. It just looks awesome. Looks so fluid, the graphics are awesome. I was just like, wow. At least they didn't do an Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. Well, actually, no. Sledgehammer actually came and helped out Infinity Ward and did the best. But yeah, Infinity Ward just like, oh, yeah, we'll just copy the entire multiplayer section of Modern Warfare 2, stick it over there, and just change a few bits. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, but yeah, it looks fantastic. Go and check it out. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Comment down below. Um, another thing, and more Black Ops 2, is single player perks. And do you know when I talked about uh, plot changes? They said um, there's possible plot changes during the campaign. They've released a few bits about this. Um, there's a mission in Yemen, and uh, you have to either you can choose to sacrifice a teammate to preserve your cover. What was it? Sorry, decide to sacrifice a comrade to preserve your cover or turn the gun on your supposed terrorist buddies. <coughs> Excuse me. I find that quite interesting because it just shows that. You can go one way or another. It might give you probably be another achievement there, like you can choose to achievement for that, choose to achieve that. Also another one where later on um a woman with Intel is captured and uh is and you have to go and rescue her and then you can either choose to kill her or disable her. So it's it's quite interesting. Also the perk system, they've been perks into the single player. And there's a uh, one little bit of information called brute force perk. And it's most likely, I think it's just like later on, there's going to be probably locked areas of the map, like houses, etc., with guns and ammunition. In them. And if you haven't got the perk on, you won't be able to get into them. I think that's, that's, that's a new aspect we haven't seen. I think that's going to be fantastic. Uh, next was kill streaks and perk rumors for the multiplayers. Now, this, I must admit, this is quite interesting. Um, you're going to have your usual UAV, or UAV, most like UAV, counter UAV. Uh, they're bringing back the RCXD because that's fantastic. They'll probably look a bit more sleeker. Um, something called a microwave turret. You, if you've watched the trade, you've seen this. You deploy it and it sends out microwave energy and it like kind of disables them, disables the enemy so you can shoot them. Or if they stay in too long, it will kill them because it's microwave energy. It's literally cooking them from the inside out. <laughs> I think that would be quite interesting. Uh, death machine. We saw this. Uh, Hellstorm missile. It's like a perimeter missile. This one is. I'm oh, sorry, I'm reading the information for the side because so much of it. It's like a perimeter missile, uh, but you have a choice to turn it into a cluster bomb. I think just before it impacts. So I think that's brilliant. Uh, multiple grenade launcher. I saw this somewhere. I don't know. I saw this in a video somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Right, oh, right. I thought it might have been a Modern Warfare 3 video. Instead of like putting down a sentry gun, you could put down a... Uh, that was it. Yeah, it was in uh, survival mode. And I still haven't seen that. Um, a QR drone, the quad wrapped quad road drone, which you've seen in the trailer and the multiplayer. And uh, it's just like this little drone you control and shoot people. I think that looks awesome. AI tank. It's that massive freaking tank. Boom, boom, boom. According to this, they've compared it to the um, assault drone in Modern Warfare 3. Oh, crap. Nothing like it. It's a freaking god. It's just tuh. It's just spits on it. Tuh. You call yourself an assault drone? Go away. BS yeah, it's called an AI tank. It's just shoot control. Uh, sentry gun. Typical sentry gun. But uh, you get a chance to control it, such as in the sentry gun in Modern Warfare 2. 3. Sorry. Uh, Orbital VSAT. Uh, advanced UAV. But can't be destroyed at all, as usual. Uh, single seeker drone. This is just a drone which goes up, it finds an enemy, and just.
simple as that, and kills them. Uh, EMP, I, I think in this day and age, and there's such a future thing, EMPs would probably be one of the best weapons you have. Um, helicopter gunner, we all know what that is. Uh, a low star, a plane that flies over, sorry. Huh. Uh, yeah, Lone Star, plane that flies over the map, player can control it and shoot rockets. So, technically, an AMG from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, helicopter escort, such as the Overwatch from Modern Warfare 3. Attack dogs, quite attack dogs, awesome. Uh, and lastly, called lastly, the most topped kill streak is called Drone Swarm. Now, this you, if you've watched the multiplayer trailer, you'll see this at the end. It's literally the entire sky is filled with drones, and they're literally just. I think they just kill everyone, all your enemies, and I don't know how long they stay around for, but that's quite a good list of um, kill streaks. I don't know if they're going to have like the same thing as Modern Warfare 3, where you had support and assault kill streaks. I don't. I think they're all just going to be in the same one. I think that'd be even better if they just have it all in the same one, so you get the amount of kills and you can get it or not. But it's quite good with Modern Warfare 3, where they brought in the support one. But the players are not fantastic at the game, so they can actually get some kill streaks, etc. So that'd be quite interesting. The the perks that have released info are, are Ghost. I think we already know what it's going to be. You won't, uh, Ghost will probably be um, undetectable to UAV. Then later on, you won't have. You'll be complete pro. You'll probably be completely undetectable, unless you actually see the person. Fast hands is uh, change of weapons quicker and uh, <laughs> change of weapons quicker and um, Updating your ammo. Uh, dexterity says uh, climbing over obstacles quicker. That probably could be put with. Um, what was it? Could be put with marathon. Uh, lightweight, run faster, run longer. Uh, flat jacket, same as Black Ops One. Tactical mask, Black Ops One, and cold blooded, which we all think we know. It's like if they're gonna, they're probably most likely gonna have uh, heat sensors, etc., heartbeat sensors, etc. You won't be able to see them. The other ones are released, but they'll probably have tons more. Later on, it's not long now until it's released. Someone dies around the corner, and uh, I think that's I think it's going to be really really good. It's just like that's a nice decent list. It's not they haven't gone overly they haven't gone majorly too far to keep some of the same elements from the first one. They've added some new ones, and it's just like I think it's going to be a very similar kill streak game, but it's just like going to be more just like more impact. I believe I think it's going to be a fantastic game. I can't wait to get it. And um, the last bit of Black Ops 2 news I will tell you is apparently live gameplay streaming will now be available. Like when you're playing your game for Black Ops 2, you can stream it all over the internet. Uh, the thing they said you need is going to be you need a camera to view your face so you can put it. So you have the main screen there, then in the corner you have your face, just like your reactions. The only problem is I'm not too sure if you can use your Kinect yet for this. I think the Kinect would be awesome for this. So mainly, I think that's what it's mainly used for, because you've also got the Connect video chat, which is um, which you can use to chat with people by video. So it should be able to use the Connect, and then it's all through the Xbox. And then all you've got to do is just send send one data stream instead of like trying to collate two. So that would be interesting, because literally that is <laughs> that just means you don't have have to have a HP DVR. Uh, or um, a, a Gato gaming device to actually capture your stuff and then put it back onto the internet. So I think it would be awesome. You can live stream it and then save it and then people can watch the live stream or just watch it later on when you save it to perhaps YouTube or something like that. But that'd be interesting. That's just some really good Black Ops news. And it's like, it's like wow, that's awesome. Um, that's enough of Black Ops. Can't wait for that to come out in uh, September. No, November. Apologise. FIFA's out in September. <laughs> Oops. Um, right, next thing was Alien Clone Marines multiplayer slash developer video has been released and it looks it looks pretty good. The freaking game. I'm so I'm a bit annoyed it's been delayed again till March next March now, but it looks awesome. Smart gun, pulse rifle, the Marines are interactions, the um, thing just go and check it out and you know I'd like to hear what you think about it because it looks awesome. The freaking the smart gun, you get the little visor come down, as in you do in, in, in Aliens 2. So it looks awesome, 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 awesome. That's all I'm going to say about it, because that's one of my most anticipated, in, anticipated games I ever want. Because it's just awesome. Lastly, Justice League movie, Posey should be out maybe 2015, if they rush it into production soonish. Oh yeah, uh, Ben Affleck is supposed to be um, directing, they're trying to get him to direct it. Yeah, I'm not even going to say any more about that. 
like to hear your comments. And uh, this is the Thursday show. It's been finished. I've been great talking to you. It's nice to get back into this. I uh, just like I feel like I get a bit more energy in me, and a bit better as well, feeling wise. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'd like to hear your comments about the show, what you thought about the content, and um, please get in touch with me. Tell me what you think. Hope you're all having a great Thursday. Hope this video finds you well. And uh, as always, keep calm and grow a beard. Because life's better. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.